If you have read or seen the news recently, then you would definitely come across a spyware called the Pegasus spyware. According to reports, the spyware has been used to spy on around 50,000 mobile devices. Now the question here is, what is this spyware? And how does it affect a mobile device? And should I be worried about it? We are going to answer all this question in today's session. Hey guys, welcome to this interesting session on Pegasus spyware. But before we get started, do take this time to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell to never miss an update from the Edureka channel. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification, check out the link given in the description box below. Now, before we start talking about Pegasus spyware, let us first understand what is a spyware. Now, a spyware is a malicious software which is specially designed to enter a user's computer or mobile devices, then gather the data about them and then send that data to one other user who is the attacker. One such spyware which is creating panic among people is a Pegasus spyware. This Pegasus spyware is capable of reading your text messages, reading your contacts, tracking your call history, turning on your cameras and microphone, and then it can also access the photos in your galleries and all the files in your phone. It can also turn on your GPS and find your location. The worst of all, it gives the attacker access to all your passwords. It can attack both Android phones and iOS phones up to version iOS 14.6. The spyware can be used to spy on 5000 phones per year and up to 50 phones at once. Now an interesting fact about the spyware is, it gets its name from the Greek mythological winged horse called the Pegasus. It was named after the winged horse because it is a Trojan horse computer virus, which means it can be sent through the air to infect the mobile devices. Now you might be wondering, why did they even create such a spyware in first place? So to understand this, let us talk a little more about the history of Pegasus spyware. Pegasus spyware were developed by an Israeli company called the NSO Group. Now NSO stands for the starting letters of the name of the three founders, who are Neve Camry, Shalev Julio, and Omri Levy. NSO claims that they have created the spyware exclusively for government intelligence and law enforcement agencies to fight crimes and terrors. For example, it can be helpful in finding car bombs or suicide bombers, stopping drug trafficking, finding kidnapped children, and so on. But report says that the spyware has been used to spy on other people also. But we will get to this in some time. Let us first see how does this spyware work. Now as I've told you before, when a spyware attacks a system, it can collect all the data and password and send it to the attacker. Now how does this infiltrate your mobile? So this Pegasus spyware is linked to an email or a text message which is known as the carrier of the spyware. And this message or email is sent to the victim or the person they want to spy on. This message looks safe and from a genuine source which might convince the victim to click on them and when they click on them, the spyware infiltrates the mobile and can access all the data and the root files. Also, the link could be sent from WhatsApp or any other social media platforms like Instagram, Signal and also iMessage on Apple devices. And it does not end here. According to reports from October 2019, Pegasus spyware could be installed by zero-click installation, which means the spyware can be installed just via a missed call. This could be a normal call or a WhatsApp call. So for this, the user does not even have to click on a link. If the attacker has the victim's phone number, then that's enough to infiltrate the victim's mobile and the victim will be unaware of this. Pegasus spyware can hide itself as far as possible and self-destruct in any attempt to eliminate evidence if it is unable to communicate with the command and control server for more than 60 days, or even when it is on the wrong device. Pegasus can also self-destruct on command. Unless you are a cybersecurity expert, you cannot detect the spyware. That's how frightening it is. So this was the working of Pegasus spyware. Now let us talk about some cases where they have used Pegasus spyware to spy on individuals. According to a report in 2020, a list of 50,000 phone numbers was leaked to Forbidden Stories and Amnesty International which contained the list of phone numbers of people who were the people of interest. Which means these were the people who were spied on or might be spied on using the Pegasus spyware. This was later investigated by many other media organizations. Now the list contained the numbers of many politicians and government officials. According to Washington Post, the list also contained number of many of the heads of the state and government which includes three presidents, ten prime minister and a king. Now a forensic examination by Amnesty Security Lab of 67 smartphones affiliated with number on the list found 37 had either been successfully penetrated by Pegasus or showed signs of attempted penetration. Now talking about India, around 300 Indian mobile phones were listed in the potential target for surveillance during 2017 to 2019 by an official Indian client of the NSO group, which included ministers, journalists and businessmen. 
there is actually a case going on in the Supreme Court of India on a number of public interest litigation seeking a probe into allegation of snooping of government agencies using Pegasus spyware. Another case which occurred in May 2019 was WhatsApp said that Pegasus has exploited a bug in its code to infect more than 1,400 Android phones and iPhones, which included those of government officials, journalists, and human rights activists. But WhatsApp soon fixed the bug. Pegasus spyware finds such vulnerabilities and then attacks them. Then in later 2019, Facebook, who owned WhatsApp, initiated a suit against NSO, claiming that Pegasus had been used to intercept the WhatsApp communication of a number of activists, journalists in India. Four numbers of Indian ministers, opposition leaders, ex-election commissioners and journalists were found on the database of the NSO hacking target by Project Pegasus in 2021. Independent digital forensic analysis conducted on 10 Indian phones whose numbers were present in the data showed the signs of either an attempted or successful Pegasus hack. Talking about the next case, French President Emmanuel Macron has changed his phone and also his phone number after reports said that he was targeted and spied on using the Pegasus spyware. He also ordered an overhaul of security protocols. A report suggested that he and 14 French ministers were flagged for potential surveillance by Morocco. Now talking about another case published by the Amnesty International, during the investigation, evidence has also emerged that the family members of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi were targeted with Pegasus software before and after his murder in Istanbul on 2nd October 2018. So these were some of the cases on how Pegasus spyware has been used. Now you might get this question that, is my phone on risk or is there any chances my mobile phone has been spied on? So usually what we have known as this Pegasus spyware has been used to mostly spy on media professionals, social activists, ministers. But it is unlikely that the average citizens will be spied on. Also, WhatsApp stated that everyone who was infected by the spyware has been sent an alert message. So if you haven't received one, then you can be assured that your mobile phone is not infected by the spyware, at least through WhatsApp. Also, WhatsApp released an update that will prevent infiltration by Pegasus spyware. Now, the Pegasus spyware is a private spyware, which means it's owned by the NSO group, and it is very unlikely to find the spyware on the dark web. Also, NSO group charges thousands or millions of dollars for a single license, which can be used to infect several smartphones and can cost up to 70 lakhs. According to 2016 price list, NSO group charged its customer $650,000 to infiltrate 10 devices, plus an installation fees of $500,000, and it was only sold to the government agencies. So it is extremely unlikely that anyone would get access to this and infiltrate normal citizens' mobile devices. But still, there are certain precautions you can take to keep your mobile phone safe from attackers. First of all, do not open any link you get in your mail or messages that do not look genuine. Delete and just block the number. The next tip is, applications like WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook improves the security features in most of its updates. So regularly keep updating your apps. Third, use strong passwords for all your accounts and two-factor authentication for all your accounts, especially important ones like your Apple ID or your Google account. The next tip is, protect your device with a strong and complex password or PIN. Do not use any simple name or pattern, which might be easier for the attacker to crack. The next tip is, download application only from the official Play Store or App Store. Be careful of the files you download from the internet, especially from the unreliable source or from a not secured website. Next, do not give permissions to mobile apps if they seem excessive. You can always grant permission later if they are really important. The next step is use a reliable security solution which is easily available on the Play Store. These apps keeps regularly checking for any malware or virus in your mobile. And the next precaution you can take is using a VPN. Now VPN or a virtual private network will encrypt all the traffic between your phone and any online resources that you're accessing. Whether that can be your email account, social media or a website you're visiting. It can basically hide your location. So these are some of the tips you can follow to secure your mobile devices. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. Do leave a valuable thoughts in the comment section below and also let us know if you want more videos like this. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.